Welcome to this course on NMR in structural biology. NMR stands for nuclear magnetic resonance. This is a technique which has grown over the last 5 decades, enormously important technique with applications in all branches of science. It originated from physicist, entered the domain of chemist, then biologist, then medicine and what not. It is a highly interdisciplinary field. In this course, we would like to emphasize the applications of NMR in the area of a structural biology. Structural biology itself is also a very interdisciplinary field. Various kinds of biochemists, biophysicists, computer specialists have participated in this course. We will draw from all of these different disciplines wherever it is required, but emphasize on the application of NMR in this course. This course is being conducted by two people, myself, Professor R. B. Hosur. I was formerly in TIFR, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. And now I am associated with the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay. And Professor Ashutosh Kumar, who is in the Department of Biosciences and Bioengineering. This set of lectures are being recorded in IIT Bombay. And it is intended for the students of chemistry and biology. Some of them may have the background in mathematics and physics, some may not have. But the main emphasis is on the application of NMR. Therefore, the basic physics and other mathematical rigor will possibly be kept to the minimum necessary and the emphasis and the focus will be on the application into the different fields of biology. The developments have occurred in various ways in the technique in an unimaginable manner during the last few decades. So, we will try to cover as much as possible to give the message of success in this field. The students can learn from this how to use NMR for addressing the problems at hand and a variety of problems in structural biology can be dealt with. Structural biology deals with structures of macromolecules, interactions between macromolecules, interactions between small molecules and macromolecules and we will try and cover all of this in a fair amount of detail so that the students can pursue in their research career. The faculty can also benefit by this in the sense that they can actually design a course in their own departments taking specific aspects of this either they can expand on this in different fields on the methods side or on the application side. So, therefore, this has a multipurpose of training the young faculty and the PhD students for pursuing a career in NMR and its application in chemistry and biology. I hope you will all enjoy this course, benefit from this course and contribute to the research in this field contribute to science in general to understand biological systems. The intricacies of the biological systems demonstrate the phenomena, demonstrate the mechanisms of the various processes that are happening in a living system. So, with that we will begin the various topics. These include initially the development of methods, some details of the methods. Then we will go over into the applications into nucleic acids, the proteins, the dynamics in these systems and the interactions between the macromolecules both in the solution state and in the solid state because NMR encompasses both the fields both of the solution state and the solid state. Although the emphasis more on the solution state results because that is where the initial contributions were and that is the area where it has grown, grown quite enormously. 
applications in solid state are also growing and therefore by this initial background students and faculty can contribute to the developments in both these areas. I hope you will enjoy the course.